Are you ready for opening day already? No, no, <laughs> not, not yet. Not yet, but I, we, we're, we're better than we were on opening day a few weeks ago, so that's always a big plus. The things that, what are you really trying to look for in the spring? I mean, basically get guys yeah. kind of positioned for the 2D chart? Energy. Yeah. That's the number one thing we're looking for. Guys playing with unbelievable energy. Um, flying around to the ball, finishing drills, finishing through the whistle. That, that's what you kind of use spring ball for, gauging that. And, and, and then it comes back to, to basically middle school football. Alignment, assignment, and technique. And uh, that's what you teach every middle schooler. And it's no different at this level, and it's no different at the NFL level. Alignment, can you get a line right? Your assignment, can you do your assignment right? And your technique, do you do it right? And uh, those three things are kind of what we've been looking for. We're getting better in that. We're, we're, we're far from perfecting that just yet, but we are getting better. The season's obviously months away, and things will change between now and then, but how much are you and your staff starting to put a mental depth chart in mind? How many positions do you think, I probably got the starter here, starter there? Uh, that's kind of that's a hard question right now. I mean, we've got an idea, a general idea, um, but uh, you know, there's going to be some freshmen that have an opportunity to come in and play, and um, and so I'm excited about the guys we got here right now, uh, and everybody on this football team has a role. Now, what is that role? I don't know just yet, but uh, we're going to take it spring ball. We'll finish through um, basically Tuesday, Thursday this week, and and uh, with the eval process, and and start meeting with them one on ones, but. Um, we got an, a general idea, um, but uh, some others that are that'll come into play and fall camp gets you. With the spring game on, on Saturday, next Saturday, how are you guys treating it in terms of preparation? Are you guys simulating a game week? Or? No, I mean not, not necessarily a game week. We're going to do some things Tuesday and Thursday this week to kind of get us ready for Saturday. But but really, it's it's about how we're going to finish. And then Saturday's more or less a celebration. That's kind of what we want to do. We're going to celebrate and the end of spring and celebrate with a, with a kind of a game-like atmosphere, get our fans out. And uh, I mean, wow, we had, it was unbelievable the crowd we had out here today. It was, it was unreal. Um, but to, uh, to have our, have, have uh, you know, a day to celebrate kind of the end and just an excitement. And so as much, you know, how much are we truly going to gauge off of it? It'll be another eval process, but really not much so anything. In terms of the offense and running your plays as quickly as you like to do it, how much has that improved since day one? Yeah, it has. It's improved. Yeah. It's improved. Again, we just got to get better in some of the technique aspects of it. And, um, but it has. It's definitely got better. What have your impressions of the offensive line been like so far? Well, I mean, you know, there's a lot of them. There's a whole lot of them. They have re <laughs> over recruited at that position, so we got them. That's that's as deep of a position as we have on our roster. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, but um, we've got to create some. We got to create some some, some solid depth, uh, and I don't know if we've got that right now. That's something we got to keep working on. You know, in the past, what we've had, and you know, you know, I, I hope we could come into the season with with eight to ten guys that we feel comfortable with playing. Uh, that's kind of our goal, but we'll see. And running back, you've got a couple of big, strong guys in Prescott line and Daniel Gresham, and then you've got. Darius Doral, smaller guy, quicker, shiftier. What do you prefer in your running backs? Do you look for quickness and speed over size and power? Well, I mean, you know, I, I, you try to have a good mixture, you know, with, with both Prescott and, and Daniel, you do have the big, the bigger back. Uh, and so now we're bringing in a couple of backs that can give us a little bit more of that game breaker mentality. Um, not that Prescott and Daniel can't. I, I, I was very pleased with both of them running the football today. Both of those guys are going to be instrumental to the success of this offense, un un unmeasurable, let me just tell you, both Prescott and Daniel, um, because they're going to play all over the field. And I think you saw a little bit of that today with Prescott. He's all over the field. And um, he's, he's, he's very valuable. He and Daniel both be very valuable in how we can manipulate and move some formations around with those two guys. So I'm excited about those two guys. That, and have them on the field at the same time. Does that help help with not having to sub? Yes, and keep going? absolutely. You can play as fast as you can with those guys on the field. Absolutely. I'm really excited about those guys. You recruited Matt Davis. Uh huh? How do you like how he fits your scheme? You know, I really like, I like Matt. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, he's got a competitive edge about himself. And I do like that. Um, obviously, he's he's learning and growing in the process. But he's the thing I like about him is he just keeps getting better, and you know, he wants to be a student of the game. So I'm excited about him. I thought he did some good things today. A couple of weeks ago, you said maybe the defense was progressing a little bit faster than the offense. 
Coach Malone just said that's a lie, that you were trying to lull him to sleep. <laughs> now that you've had a couple more weeks to look at it, do you still think the defense is a little ahead? Well, I, <laughs> I thought today they kind of had had our number a little bit, had the offensive number today a little bit, but but uh, Thursday it was totally a reverse. You know, it looked like they didn't even know where to line up at. Um, and so it's just kind of a hit and miss. It's all about trying to be consistent. But but we have shown a lot of energy. We've shown the ability to create some turnovers, and that's been a big, big part of this whole spring is really stressing turnovers and ball security.